Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to load music onto your iPod Touch and be able to listen to it offline. So we're going to be using the music application here and before I get into the tutorial I recommend you just quickly load up the music app because you can see there may be a chance that Apple is just going to give you six free months of Apple Music. Uh, so just open up the app and if you get a pop-up like this you might as well just tap on redeem now use the six months of free Apple Music. Essentially it's a store where you can get whatever music you want. Uh, as long as you are subscribed. However, if you don't have this option available or you don't want to use Apple Music because after six months you won't be able to play the music anymore, then let's get started with this tutorial. So what we're going to need is we're going to need access to either a Windows or Mac computer. This is because we're going to use the computer to load music onto our iPod Touch and then of course we can listen to that music and enjoy it offline. So if you don't have access to a computer, uh, once you've done this once, you're good to go for life. So I recommend you either borrow one quickly from a friend or a family member, uh, use a store which has display computers available, use a computer uh, from your organization, school or work, and then once you've uh, got access to the computer, I'm going to show you the next steps you're going to need to take. On the computer, there's only one link you need. I'll have it in the description and it will bring you to the iAmazing website. So you're going to see here, download for Mac and download for PC. So PC, of course, being Windows, just select your operating system and get iAmazing downloaded. Now, once iAmazing is downloaded, you will need to set it up and you do, uh, just need to find the iAmazing application. So I'm just going to find it right here and you just want to load it up. Now, iAmazing is completely free to use. However, if you're using the free version, one thing you need to know is you can only uh, uh, upload up to 50 songs onto your iPod Touch before they ask you for payment. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you could always just use different computers to get around that limit, but up to 50 songs you can upload to your iPod Touch, so make sure you use those carefully. Now, I personally pay for the premium, so I'm not going to receive any messages. However, if you receive any messages about the trial, just click on continue trial, and you'll be good to go. So the next step is you need to plug in your iPod Touch to the computer. And once your iPod Touch is plugged in, you may be uh, asked to trust the connection between your iPod and the computer. So just unlock your iPod Touch, check that. If you have that message, tap on trust and then enter in the passcode, which is on the iPod Touch uh, for the lock screen, and then you'll be good to go. So what you want to do is you want to click on music here, and we just need to drag and drop the music we want. So the music format needs to be in .m. 4a so of course you need to use music that you have legally uh, purchased so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to filter my downloads and you can see here i'm going to be using my super mario uh, 3d world uh, soundtrack so all you need to do is you should just need to drag it and drop uh, into this field right here and then just give it a little bit and then the music will copy over from your computer to your ipod touch now once this is done you're good to go uh, make sure of course you uh, copy over all the music you want and then you can unplug your ipod touch from the computer if you have the trial it will uh, every single time you copy over say you know, keep in mind you only have 50 songs do you want to uh, continue just click on continue and then you'll be good to go so once we're done i'm just going to show you on my ipod touch that the music has been copied over successfully all right so when the music is imported you just want to open up the music application now if you get any messages about the apple music again you don't need apple music so you can just close out of them uh, so what you want to do here is you just want to tap on library and you should see your recently added and you can see Super Mario right here and you have the option to play, you have the option to shuffle. It will essentially make a folder for you with all your imported songs so you can always just tap on the shuffle, all that good stuff. And if I tap on it here, you can see, yep, the uh, music is fully working. Uh, the music has been imported successfully. So if your music you are, you know, you know, uh, obtained has a cover art that will also show up as well it will also show the name and the artist all that good stuff so really that's all there is to it hopefully this video did help you out if it did make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye